hi friend back with another video so in this video uh, we are going to learn how to construct the intensity duration frequency curve for different uh, uh, return period or you can call it as uh, uh, recurrence interval so uh, it will be helpful in uh, storm uh, storm water network or your uh, flood modeling in hecras or any other hydrological modeling in uh, HMS. So I will use the uh, Gumball statistics for this task. Uh, there are other uh, other statistical methods are also available like uh, uh, normal distribution and log normal, log Pearson. So I will show you the example of the Gumball distribution. So let's uh, begin it. Uh, so before that. I have the uh, rainfall data of a station from 1980 to 19 to 1980 to 2017. So there are 38 years of the uh, the data which I have in, and in that they find out the highest daily peak of each year and note it down for the each year. So. I have noted down for the each year uh, till the 2017. So our sample size is 38 because I am having the rain, uh, rainfall data of 38 years. That is the highest daily peak annual uh, precipitation data. So first we need to disintegrate this uh, highest daily peak annual uh, uh, precipitation data into uh, into minutes uh, so i will disintegrate it to 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 60 minutes 20 minutes uh, or the 720 minutes so which is nothing but the 12 hour and uh, the 1440 minutes so which will uh, equals to the uh, one day so one day consists of uh, uh, 1440 minutes so i use this uh, formula statistical formula for this task so first I noted down the 5 minutes precipitation, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. 60 minutes after that 120 minutes 720 minutes which is nothing but uh, 12 hours and the uh, 1440 1440 minutes so which is nothing but uh, the 24 hours so now the disintegrate this uh, highest daily peak annual rainfall to five minutes uh, 10 minutes uh, 15 minutes like that up to 1440 minutes which is nothing but 24 hours so let's apply this to this formula so where you need to convert this uh, t by 24 so t i will uh, name that name it i will uh, assign it it as five minutes and 24 so 20 it is in hours you need to convert this into minutes so one day has 24 hours so 24 hours is nothing but 1440 minutes so let's do that so first add this highest daily precipitation and multiply by 5 minutes divided by the 24 hours so 24 hours is nothing but 1440 zero minutes and to the power one by three to the power one divided by three okay so do the same same do it same for this all the uh, intervals that is uh, remaining 10 uh, 10 15 30 60 okay so same for this remaining so precipitation is uh, high daily precipitation multiply 
multiply by the conversion to 10 minutes divided by 1440 to the power 1 by 3 complete it for the rest of the times time interval now scroll this value for uh, each uh, year till the 2017 scroll it down okay and same to all all other time intervals 10 minutes 15 minutes Yes. So now, now find the mean and find the mean and standard deviation for each time interval. That is five minutes, uh, uh, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, up to this one four four zero minutes, which is nothing but twenty four hours. So find mean and standard deviation. So the standard deviation is sigma n minus 1. So first I will find out the mean for every uh, every time interval for each from this uh, sample size mean and standard deviation standard deviation. There is sigma minus one here. Sigma minus one. So mean, so mean is nothing but average. Similarly, do that. Do it for all the time interval. Same for others, uh, select it and drag it down. So 
so first we found out the mean value so these are the mean value for the each time interval now find out this the standard deviation is sigma minus 1 standard deviation standard so a so stdva here so you need to select this stdva same for others stdv a Standard deviation is TDVA. Same for the last one. So we found out the mean and the standard deviation that is sigma n minus one. So now I just highlight it. Uh, so for 25 years uh, minus ln is natural log uh, the value of for 25 so t, uh, t divided by t minus 1 25 divided by t minus 1 is 24 t minus 1 24 okay so we got the value of the yt for 25 years returning uh, return period uh, now find the kt that is frequency factor mm, we have we know the value of the yt so which is here uh, minus yn yn is common for all here by sn sn is here okay so we found the value of the uh, kt frequency factor for the uh, return period 25 so similarly do that for uh, same uh, repeat the process for 50 years 75 years and up to 100 years the gumball uh, frequency factor kt is uh, computed uh, for uh, uh, all the return period so up to 100 year uh, return period so these are these values these are its uh, values uh, for different uh, recurrence uh, uh, interval so now move to this uh, calculation part so here we have the time in hours the mean standard deviation 
so first we find out the rainfall depth so rainfall depth which is in mm so so we can find the rainfall depth by this uh, gumball variate xt so we have this formula mean plus standard deviation into kt kt which is already calculated that is the frequency factor and t is the return period so t is we have found the a frequency factor for two year uh, the two years return period so apply this uh, uh, equation here so apply this formula here so mean is uh, mean is uh, the here mean plus the standard deviation into this kt frequency factor for two years interval uh, so here is a two hour interval and take this term as constant so that that's why I added the uh, dollar sign here okay and scroll it down for the rest of the time so so now the rainfall intensity in hours in mm per hours so mm per hours so we have the rainfall and we have the time interval for the five minutes which is nothing but we have converted it into hours so time interval we know this uh, rainfall divided by the time interval which is in hours so similarly for the 10 now uh, 10 year return period so now for the rainfall for 10 hour uh, for the 10 year so same as earlier uh, so we have this equations to find the way gumbles variate mm, mean so mean is here mean plus standard deviation is here and the uh, frequency factor for 10 uh, 10 years return period so 10 years return period is here uh, take constant term so by using the dollar sign here okay Now convert this into uh, mm per hour that is rainfall intensity. So rainfall divided by the hours time in hours. So similarly, 
for the uh, so after continuing the same process which I have done earlier to find the the rainfall depth of uh, return period recurrence interval 2 years 10 years 25 years uh, 50 years 75 years 100 years also uh, similarly so we have done up to the 100 year return period this is the recurrence interval so thereafter it's time to plot the graph first it will be like in x axis the hours and in y axis the rainfall intensity corresponding to this recurrence interval so first uh, select all this hold control and thereafter select other uh, rainfall intensities for 2 years 10 years 25 years uh, 50 years rainfall intensity 75 years and then for all this uh, now insert the insert we select the graph type cattle plot and It similarly for y axis, so this is the, this is the rainfall intensity. Uh, so change that to a logarithmic scale. So, all right, so I've converted that into logarithmic scale. Okay, fine. So now they change the series name to give them. Change the name so for two years, which is the for the series one is two years return period. So I will name, the, we name it as two years uh, for the second series two, this 10 years uh, for the third, it is. Uh, 25 years 25 years okay fine for the fourth it is uh, 50 years 50 years and uh, the series six it is uh, 75 years The last one series 6 is the 100 year yes 100 year okay so we have so we have plotted and in the chart title so chart title as idf Name the x and y axis so so that axis titles so for y axis so it is rainfall intensity rainfall mm per hour uh, for x axis the time interval the time in hours so time in hours so here is it okay close that okay fine so here is the final idf curve which we plotted so here is the final idf curve 
और ये डिफरेंट रिटर्न पीरियड तो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग